What's up my nerds, Nerdspace Games here to talk to you guys about some massive news relating to future Resident Evil games. If you haven't heard yet, a reliable source that has got some things right and some things wrong has come out and told us some pretty juicy information. Dust Gollum, a leaker that has given us updates on past Capcom games and someone who seems to have plenty of inside information on future Capcom projects revealed on Discord that the Resident Evil franchise has a total of five games in development. I repeat, five motherfucking games. He also went on to mention that while he's already revealed the first upcoming game that is set to release next year, the rest he has chosen to keep to himself at this time. But he does mention that one project that is set to release late 2026 or early 2027 has him extremely excited. As far as any other information regarding these future projects, that's all we really know. However, there have been hints and bits of information that have been scattered around since Village was in the works that point to what some or even most of these projects are. So with that being said, on today's episode, I want to dive down into what I believe these five Resident Evil projects are and why I'm confident in all of these predictions. We'll be going in order in terms of what I believe will come first and what will be released last out of these five projects. Also note that there are some games that I missed out here that could also be on this list. At the end of the video, I'll cover some wildcard predictions as to what else could pop up. So without further ado, this is Nerdspace Games with what I believe are the next five Resident Evil games that are currently in development. Let's get it. We start with probably the most obvious choice and even the only title that Dust Gollum has confirmed, Resident Evil 9. According to Gollum, here is what we know so far about this game. First off, the newest numbered entry of the Resident Evil series is set to release in 2025, with it being first shown off sometime this year. We'll probably get our first trailer sometime during the summer as Capcom loves showing RE games for the first time in the summer and since the franchise has continued to bring Capcom's success, I would find it hard to believe that they'll change this formula anytime soon. As far as the game itself goes, Gollum has also claimed that this will be the final numbered title of the franchise and that the game will be looking to close one chapter while creating a new beginning for the future of the series. Considering what we saw in the last number title, chances are that at least one of the main protagonists of the game will be Chris Redfield. A huge cliffhanger at the end of Village revealed that the BSAA are using POWs, and Chris immediately sets his sights on the HQ in Europe, which is somewhere in the UK. If Capcom plans on following this teaser they set up in the last entry, then chances are that Chris will pull together allies that he can trust, meaning it's very likely that we could see other BSAA agents make their grand return. Now while I would love to see Sheva and Parker from the BSAA, if we choose to believe what Gollum has told us about this being the last numbered entry and the final chapter for this saga, then I would imagine that it would make more sense for Capcom to bring other iconic characters of the franchise back. Jill Valentine would be the easiest choice as not only was she in the original game with Chris back in the 90s, but she is also a BSAA agent that Chris can trust. Of course, it would be even more iconic if we would see other iconic characters like Rebecca, Leon, and Ada make a return too, but I'm scared if we start bringing too many characters into this final chapter, then it's quite possible that we end up with a game like Resident Evil 6. Regardless, even without Gollum leaking this title, most people assume that Capcom's next big RE title would be the next numbered entry. But from this point on, it's all pure speculation as to what other titles could Capcom be working on as we speak. This is obviously a wishlist project, but when you consider everything that Capcom has been doing lately, it kind of makes sense for a remaster of the original trilogy. First, let's take a look at the release date. I'm thinking that the remaster collection of the original trilogy will probably be late 2026 or early 2027. If you were listening earlier, then that would fall in line with the project that Dust Golem is most excited for. As to what evidence there is regarding this game's development, well, there's not much. There have been leaks here and there claiming that Capcom has been planning a remaster collection of the original trilogy, but honestly, none of them have been from any reliable leakers. With that being said, Capcom has been on a roll with remastering older games within their catalog, from the Mega Man collection to the Street Fighter collection. So it kind of makes sense for Resident Evil to get the same treatment. And now that it has been some time since Capcom remade RE2 and RE3, with the original RE1 game already having a 2002 remake, I don't believe Capcom needs to worry about competing with recent releases anymore. So I figure now is the time to cash in on that nostalgia of old school fans of the series and get those remasters by making them playable on modern consoles. Another fact that could point to this remaster collection being in development and coming as early as 2026 comes down to the amount of Resident Evil projects that are apparently in development. If what Gollum said is true, and there are 5 games within the franchise currently in development, 
then my first thought goes to how in the world is this possible? I mean, five games is a lot. And with Resident Evil 9 rumored to come out next year and potentially another RE title scheduled for 2026, those concerns become even bigger. However, if a remaster collection is one of those five releases, then it kind of softens the blow a little. I mean, think about it. While a remaster collection will take some work to make it viable on modern consoles, it'll take a significantly lesser amount of time to develop them than some brand new titles, which in my opinion, makes the five games in development seem a little more doable. This one might catch some of you off guard as a lot of you probably wrote this game off and the other half of you are probably expecting a remake to release before this game. But hear me out, Resident Evil Revelations 3 is a spin-off game that I think will release in either 2026 or 2027. Sure, that coincides with the remaster collection I talked about already, but honestly, it wouldn't be the first time that Capcom released two Resident Evil games in the same year. Let's not forget that back in 2002, we got both a remake of Resident Evil and we got a Resident Evil Zero meaning that it's quite possible we could see a remaster collection release in the same year as a spinoff game. As for what evidence there is regarding this game, well, we can once again thank Dust Gollum for some of his older leaks. Back during the development of Village, Gollum claimed that Capcom was working on multiple RE projects. One of these projects was a Revelations 3 game that was intended for the Nintendo Switch, and that was to follow Rebecca Chambers as one of the main protagonists. Since this leak, Gollum has claimed that he doesn't know if this game has been cancelled or if it's still in development, but with 5 RE games in the works right now, I'm inclined to believe that it's one of those 5 titles. As far as any other additional information we know about this title, well, it's also said to be a multiplayer game that'll take place at a university of some sort. If it is indeed a multiplayer game though, similar to the last Revelations title, and it's supposed to follow Rebecca Chambers, then it would be pretty awesome if Capcom brought back a one-off character that has been MIA since the events of RE0, Billy Cohen. While many one-off characters have files or comics detailing where they may have ended up, Billy Cohen is easily the most mysterious. Outside of Rebecca reporting that he died in the Arkway Mountains, nothing else is known about the whereabouts of Billy. So a multiplayer game that is set to follow Rebecca Chambers could be the perfect way to provide some closure for fans of this character. Also, side note, Rebecca has received a lot of love and attention from Capcom lately, with her appearing in the last two CGI movies. Perhaps now that the character is getting a ton of attention from the movies, it would be the perfect time to reintroduce her in the games. Next up on the list, RE5 Remake. Obviously, outside of RE9, this is probably the most likely game on this list. What might make it a little more surprising is how low I have this title on here and that's mainly due to me believing that development on this game is still fairly fresh. Like I believe that this game may have started around the time that Resident Evil 4 Remake started its marketing. Hell maybe even later. Regardless, it's almost all but guaranteed that this game is coming out at some point in the future for a ton of different reasons. The first and most obvious reason comes from the success of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Fans leading up to the game's release didn't think that Capcom was making a smart decision by remaking a game that didn't appear to need much of a remake. Yep, money talks, my friends. Resident Evil 4 Remake has sold somewhere around 7 million copies since its release last year. So obviously the success from that remake is going to incentivize Capcom to do the same for RE5. But even if RE4 didn't do as good as it did, there was still a chance that a remake of RE5 was being discussed at the very least. I mean, look at the events of Resident Evil 4 Remake. I mean, the amount of Easter eggs that pointed to Resident Evil 5 was unbelievable. From giving Wesker more screen time and discussing his future plans to a photo of Excella, one of the main antagonists of Resident Evil 5. Capcom was clearly already preparing for RE5 Remake. Now the question becomes, how far out is this game? Well, as much as I would love to say that Capcom would be looking to build up this game, First, with the likes of a remake of the original Resident Evil and Code Veronica first, chances are that Capcom already started this project not long before Resident Evil 4 Remake released. With that being said, I'm guessing that this game is probably looking at a 2028 release date, with the possibility of it being pushed back to 2029. For my final choice, I went back and forth between three games, two remakes, and a spinoff. First, I considered a hunk spinoff since that was leaked around the same time as Revelations 3 was leaked. But after thinking about it, I honestly just believe that Capcom feels more confident in going with another remake instead of another spinoff on top of Revelations 3. 
which left me with two remake possibilities, Code Veronica and a second remake of Resident Evil. Not gonna lie, trying to get this choice down to only one of these was pretty tough, but ultimately I went with Resident Evil Code Veronica. As for why, well, I believe that this one is completely in the hands of the fans. Last year, Capcom did something a little unexpected. They released a survey, and in that survey, they asked the fans, which Resident Evil game do they want to see a remake of? So clearly, Capcom wanted some direction from us regarding where they should focus their attention on next. And with Resident Evil Code Veronica probably getting the most demand out of the fans of the series, chances are Code Veronica dominated that poll. And if that is indeed the case, I can easily see Capcom jumping on this project right away. Granted, the poll was late last year, meaning I believe that this game is early in development, which is why it's the last game to release of the five on today's list. If I had to put a release date on it, my guess would be somewhere around 2030. But honestly, that is obviously a placeholder, and it's quite likely that it could be pushed back to a later date. Granted, now that Code Veronica has seen so much demand, it's clear that it's on Capcom's radar now. The real question is if Capcom would consider moving development on RE5 back to focus on Code Veronica since there's so much demand for that one now. And from a story point of view, it would make a lot of sense to do that title first. I mean, think about it. Code Veronica includes both Chris Redfield and Albert Wesker, the main protagonist and the main villain of Resident Evil 5. This could be a massive setup to their relationship prior to the events of RE5. Still, because of what we saw from RE4 Remake, I find it very unlikely that Code Veronica is farther along than RE5 Remake. Regardless though, I think both are easily the next two remakes in development, and who knows, maybe both are set to come out sooner than we think. But that does it for this episode of Nerd Space Games. I know it's a little different than the videos that I normally do, but after seeing the massive update from Dust Gollum, man, my mind just started racing regarding each and every potential project that Capcom could be developing for the Resident Evil franchise. But let me know in the comments, what do you think are the five potential Resident Evil games that Capcom has in development right now? Did it make my list? Also, let me know which project you are most excited for. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more Resident Evil updates and ranking videos. But as always, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Nerd Space Games. Take care.